also would like to take a second to shout out disappeared I've been working on the goal that I set on my 66 F100 and I told my son I was like if you say dad should build this <laughs> we're freaking building it I showed him the picture he was like you ought to build this <laughs> I got a whole lot of stuff done that I don't think I would have gotten done without setting the goal to kind of push me as promised we're getting back to work on the 240Z <laughs> Oh, tired. I'm still gonna work on my F100, but I wanna get some videos back out to you guys on the 240Z. A lot of you guys have commented that seeing the work on this inspires you to do it on your own. I'm freaking stoked. Uh, I'm, I'm sad in a sense that I let you guys down. I hadn't had any videos on this lately, but we're getting right back at it. Hopefully I still remember how to weld. <laughs> Where we left off in the build series is my main goal for this was to get the underside of this thing, all the rust repair done, so we could undercoat this thing with some bed liner. So let's just continue on with identifying what we're gonna fix and getting after it. Let's go. So, let's check out this piece. What did I do with it? This happens a lot. Should I be concerned? <laughs> I had the piece and then, oh, found the piece. Set it right there. Kind of blend it in. All right, so this piece, I made it using my shrinker and stretcher stand with a pedal. I can undo this bolt. I want to get a little uh, quick disconnect pin, but for right now this works. And basically if I need the shrinker or the stretcher, I can use one, spin it around, pop the pin in the other one, and use the foot pedal. But as you can see here, this thing needs a little bit more shape. Got a rough measurement, bend it in a 90 degree angle, and then got the shape on it using the stretcher to stretch the metal around that corner. I need to shrink right in here. And I need to shrink right here and we'll get it fitting a little bit better. Oh, yeah. All right, so already you can see us fitting better in there. Right in here where it kind of steps up and then back down. We'll have to do some work in there. We're already changing right there with the little swoop. These marks I just made as a reference to know where I needed to shrink, where I might need more shrink at. Let's see, we've got it fitting nice there. We got our first little whoop to do here. And now we're gonna need to shrink this corner to finish that side. Look, mom, we built a bike ramp. Brr. For Honey, I shrunk the kids. <laughs> Somebody tell me you got that. You got that joke. All right, so there's a small part that I need to stretch. You guys are gonna see firsthand how long it takes me to do a quick change, I guess. You could call it. I 
so it would have went better if I practiced it first. Too much pressure on me here for the camera. But all I gotta do is snug that down. Not sure how many seconds that was, but So, there's a look at the final kind of piece. And if you can see, it fits a whole lot better. So yeah, let's get to cutting out and keep on keeping on. All right, so you can see pieces in. I will have to make a little piece to go right there in that little triangle area. finish work try to make it look like one seamless piece I'm not that worried about it because with the wide body uh, we'll probably have some sort of side skirt and all this right here will be covered by the fender I still want it to look good but it ain't got to be like it's not like I'm doing a, a part of the uh, exterior that's gonna be seen you know what I'm saying So made a lot of headway with this little section. It's not 100% as far as finished sanding, but it's pretty dang close. Uh, and what can I say? I got a little, I'm a little rusty as far as a uh, final finishing, you know, panel that, you know, my shop truck I've been working on. Uh, some new pieces of 1 8 inch. So not as much like thin. Uh, so I gotta get, I gotta get back in the saddle. <laughs> and this is a good spot to, uh, to do it on, check it out. I mean, right in here, you can't see any transition. Right in here, I could do a little bit more uh, grinding on the weld seam, but I mean, she's nice. And then as far as my nuts that should be there for the fender, I didn't put them there intentionally because one, I don't know what type of side skirt uh, slash fender flares I'm gonna be doing. So I might want those in a different position but I got rib nuts uh, so I can pop a hole wherever I want them and rib nut it. All I'm gonna do for today, so we'll catch you guys in a second. All right, so another little session out here. I still wanna go through and fix. Uh, these are factory welds. <laughs> I mean, look at those. Factory welds 
where the firewall meets the trans tunnel. And I want to go back, grind some of those out, uh, flatten it down, get some little uh, stitch welding in little segments. I'd like to clear some more in here. Hopefully, clearing more in there, we don't uncover any more surprises because I've been surprised <laughs> enough already. sandblasted it would have just showed me right off the rip how many areas I was gonna have to fix so far today I haven't found any new rust problems <sighs> why did I say that out the gate if I would have got this thing sandblasted I'd have been like bro I gotta order some panels I gotta get it popping but originally I thought it was gonna be you know floor pans frame rails rockers it was that frame rails floor pans rocker firewall battery tray inner fender uh roof etc the list goes on and on so do yourself a favor and get it uh media blasted sand blasted something like to see the whole entire process of this I'll post a, like a four hour long video of just scraping so drop that down in the comments if that's something you'd like to see not <laughs> How's it going? That's how it's going. <laughs> So I probably just showed you guys a little clip of everything that I've stripped so far. Knock on wood. So far I haven't discovered any new rust. Obviously you've seen the section that we repaired in the beginning of the video. I haven't seen any new rust with what all I've uncovered. I got one little pinhole right here. Um, and yeah, I've been stripping in there. I've been stripping down here some more. I was worried that if you guys remember in the build when I had to take this off and repair under there, I was worried I was going to find some rust in here. So far I hadn't. Um, but yeah, what I want to do now is I'm out of time. I need to go edit this video. So I'm going to get a quick coat of primer on it so nothing flash rusts. So nothing. F I'm going to get a quick coat of primer on it so we ain't got to worry about anything. Uh, rusting, you know, flash rusting.
we're making some headway by we i mean me and you guys uh yeah again thank you to everyone who had some patience with me I was literally set a goal on my shop truck try to do that for myself for my birthday i didn't quite make the goal but setting the goal helped me get after it so be back to work on this thing i will still be working on my f100 also if you haven't checked out the videos on that or the video i just posted do me a favor and check it out and i also would like to take a second to shout out a buddy brian he is a uh, follower of the channel subscribed on youtube and follows on instagram he sent me this a while back and i hadn't did a video on the Datsun in a while but i wanted to take a moment and shout him out he 3d printed this at clemson university go clemson tigers <laughs> yeah he 3d printed this I think it's pretty awesome. I'm gonna figure out a way to uh, get this mounted in the shop. Tag on Instagram is home pup. And there you can see, he's a follower and supporter of the channel, bought a t-shirt. Thank you, appreciate it, Brian. And he has his own 240Z that he's working on. You still got like four feet of a box, you good. I don't think he's had the 240Z a super long time. I know he reached out right when he bought it, and uh, he actually bought it from a guy, I believe, that I met at the drag strip in uh, Augusta, Georgia. So it's a small world, but there's another pic of it. So again, thanks, Brian. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time talking. Thank you guys for the patience. Thank you guys for the support. I know there wasn't a lot of fancy fabrication type stuff in this video, but we're going to get back at it chipping away at it a little bit at a time hope you guys are working on your own projects dusty mac signing out we'll catch you guys in the next one peace out